Guys, the rat went down in price, so we can actually review him now, because he was literally 12 mil or something? I was like, oh yeah, this review ain't happening for for a good minute. It's gonna not gonna happen for a good minute. Uh, guys, after this review, we'll probably do a 4-2-3-1 tactic video, and then we'll call it a day, and then we'll just continue the stuff tomorrow, okay? Um, so, with Al Aware rat we're taking a look at someone who is six foot tall high medium work rates left footed four star skills they four star weak foot uh, i remember the last time that i reviewed the card was in the cam position and he was he was a beast let's be real he's he's really good um he's really good he's a rat because everybody uses him you know him jerzingo mbappe him jerzingo mbappe that's the whole team's uh that everybody uses nowadays uh this card's probably gonna have some plus ones as of right now so let's take a look where is the rat? There he is. Okay. So, with this card, guys, on a Deadeye Chemistry style, he is going to have um, really good shooting stats. Passing is also going to be very good. You work with dribbling as it is, because you don't really care too much about him when he's being played. A lot of the times, mainly in the side positions, a lot of people were sometimes using him as one of two strikers as well. Left side, honestly, doesn't really matter. Um, you know, his pace... Uh, being perfect is definitely very helpful for you to be able to provide that dead eye chemistry style for him. Honestly, when it comes to future improvements, I feel like the main thing that you're going to want out of him is, excuse me, going to be in uh, dribbling, right? The dribbling is going to be the main thing. It's dribbling and some physical because having some extra uh, strength, some extra jumping, heading accuracy, like that's going to be like the main areas because with shooting and passing, you'll probably not notice a big difference unless they improve base card stats that you can kind of feel that a little bit more with the improvement of the card, right? But yeah, player traits, he's got speed dribbler, long shot taker. So speed dribbler uh, for me is what makes Rashford's pace actually pretty decent, right? With the sprint speed that he has, but this card has perfect pace with speed dribbler, which... You know, uh, in-game attributes with the Deadeye shooting will be massively improved. Passing will be massively improved. Uh, dribbling will be experimenting with that six foot height lean body type. Uh, you can see that the difference between this card and the last as of right now is going to be a plus one difference. But remember that these cards can get upgraded, right? So um, it's probably going to feel very similar to each other. You know, that's what most of the cards feel like. Uh, you just really want those future improvements out of these bad boys, right? So. So we're going to be using him in the uh, 4231 that we are going to be going to be doing a review for. Um, but for now, uh, 4231, we'll play him in the striker position. Um, and then the rest of the team will just be as is. So the striker position is just stay central, get him behind, stay forward. And we'll just uh, we'll go from there. So, yeah, let's see what he's like. Mbappe starts with Riyad Mahrez on the flanks and up front. Yeah, OK. You can already see the constant adjustments with this guy. Moving forward effectively. Zabita. Now with Mbappe. Being egged on by the crowd. It's got to be. Oh, no way. Thought I had that for sure. The referee spotted the infringement. Oh, this might be a goal. He's left footed, so. Oh, he moved the wall, the wall a little bit. Be something like that. Eh, it's not bad. Less power. Dude, the curve on that was crazy. I put the right power to Jeej. Oh, I hit the red. Hit the red. How was that not a penalty? <laughs> That was my fault. Couldn't get the timing on it. That's why people love him, by the way. Is you see how fast he is? Base card stats are pace super high. Crazy. This attack looks highly promising. Can he do it from miles? Oh wow. That's a good strike. Cool. Sounds good. Sounds good. Doesn't matter. Red time shot. I still score it. 
I have to get used to his animation because it's slower because of the height and uh, dribbling stats and stuff. Doesn't matter if I green time it. White time shot. You see, it's just oh, movement, shoot. Okay. <laughs> Ah, oh, white time shot on that too. Oh, I'm gonna score that one. Unlucky. Off balance is gonna be a little bit slower for sure. Gotta get the right angles there. What a finish. Lionel Messi. Oh, I was close. I had to do another skill move there, like a quick after or something. Tap shot. There it is. Uh, we're just going to skip past that because the goalie just knocked me out. <laughs> Sorry, I was just trying to do something super cheeky there. I, was put, I saw him pushing his goal here, so I was like, yo. Oh, imagine first time strike from there. I got the I got the hang of his shooting again. I haven't used this card in a while, so once you uh, once you get the hang of it, you get you kind of know the timing of the animation. See? I got that one. You know what it is, man? It's like, it's the movement. You know, it's the movement, the, the shooting once he gets into the right positions. Like, it's quick, right? Like, I remember when I reviewed his, um, his gold card, right? The World Cup one. And I was like, dude, like, this card, it's just like... I, like, I was using him in the cam position during that review, and it was just like, boom, boom, boom. Like, the movements were crazy, man. It was insane. He's just, it, it's so fast with him. It's just, boom, I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? Being pressed and pressed high. So fast to get into those positions. It's so fast. Like, the movement is, it's, the way his pace works with his attacking eye, it's like, He's gone. You know, I haven't even switched the formation yet. Oh, he was already good, too. It was unfortunate because I was messy with his left foot, right? If it was like a right-footed player to get that certain pass off. Oh, my goodness. And we would have been good. Oh, my goodness. Once you get the timing right, like, you're good. Look at this shot to the bottom right. Look at the state of that. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, he's just, he activates it so quick, man. So fast. His AI just pushes him in there. Oh, you just, just let his AI do the thing. Uh, but if I made that pass right there, I would have been good. It's so crazy. Gone. Gone. He quickly gets into position. This isn't even his best area. Like, even when I reviewed his rare gold card, I didn't think lone striker was his best area. Like, two striker formation, sure, but it's 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 a card to be played on that left side, you know? Pass it off. Like, I'll do here. You see how he goes, like, up and down, up and down? Touch. One touch there. I get that one touch, I'm good. I did get the green there though, but unlucky. Yep. Yep. Lionel Messi. Now with Arlo Wairam. 
it's so like it's you, you pass the ball boom pass the ball boom pass the ball boom like you you notice the dribbling just like the gold card you notice it right but it's not a nuisance on him his lean body type compensates for it well right it's like Janola. Janola, you notice his left stick but he just compensates too well in other areas man you just don't care about it guys i just did the purchase of a lifetime i just did the purchase of a lifetime i bought him when he was four mil this is the first time there's this is this wrong oh my god it's right oh my goodness it's right 5.5 yo i'm putting him for like 5.4 because i literally bought him for four mil and we just sold him <sighs> just a little that's the only player that's ever happened to me before i think the highest i've ever gone like transfer market wise was like 100k <laughs> a million coins dude that saves me a lot of money uh dude a million coins that was me doing rashford today because rashford was like 650 ggs Bro, watch him go so much higher. I hope I wake up in the morning tomorrow and he's 4 mil. That's genuinely the first time I've ever made money like that. Like, that's crazy. I remember buying an Ibrahimovic card on... Like, I actually sniped him to do this review. It was last year. I think it was like the... Um, it was like a... It was a brown card. What what brown card was it again? I, I forget. Was it Fe not Phenoms? I can't remember what promo that was. I remember sniping. I was even with my... Uh, I was with my best friend in a party chat uh and when i said i'm like oh listen bro i'll be right back i gotta do his review and he has like over 100k like that video when he went back on the market he went up significantly like higher and i could have sold him for way more and i was like really sad about it um but yeah i've never made that much money on a card like this i have to i have to really watch him i have to watch him a lot because i just put him for 100k cheaper hopefully he sells for that because if that's the case that is the first time I'll ever make money like that. Like, that's crazy. Five. Yeah, I'll make 1.1 mil. That's great, because I lose a lot of money off of reviews. So, <laughs> W on that. Uh, generally speaking, though, guys, uh, it is essentially the same card as the gold one. So, if you guys ended up getting the gold one um, from the SBC, from the, uh, what's it called? The 87 plus hero pack, like that one where you can, or it's a player pick where it's like one of five and you get them good for you because honestly if you use the card just as is he's still going to be very good to use right now obviously this card is different because he gets improvements right so with the future improvements that this card could potentially get it's mainly going to be in the dribbling department right that's the only thing because everything else he's really good at right his pace is crazy his attacking ai is crazy his shooting once you get him in the right positions at the right time is crazy uh passes come off great it's genuinely just the left stick, right? And it's not even that big of a nuisance to work with. It's like very obvious things because obviously with him being a six foot tall player with a lean body type, you notice it, you don't care about it. It's the same thing as the gold card, right? Like it, he's just so good at doing other things that you don't care about that specific thing with him. It's just one of those types of cards, in my opinion. Um, performs like an absolute monster. I'm scared now because he went up by a lot, but I feel like he's going to go down by a lot too. I don't know the transfer market that well, so buying it for 4 mil is an absolute W. I did not lose coins whatsoever. Let's go. Um, but yeah, just the left side, guys. Honestly, he's genuinely really good at doing everything. Um, if you get lucky and you end up packing this guy, GG's to you, uh, obviously with the improvements in the future, he's going to be... Uh, He's going to be pretty ratty to play against. Guys, why is he a rat? It's the obvious things that you saw from this review, like you saw from the last one, right? Shooting is good, but it's not just that. Like, you, you guys can see the moment I pass the ball with him, that attacking AI with that, you know, acceleration, sprint speed, speed dribbler trait, whatever it is, he's just quick. You know, his attacking AI is crazy. I, I, I still remember to this day using him in the camp position. I was like, this guy just knows how to move. He just understands. You know, he does the angled runs when he has to. Just a great card. You know, he's a rat for a reason, so... Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Yee.